So hello guys welcome back to the channel and a lot of you guys were asking about this lab that is the RPG lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console and cognito window. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. So here click on I agree I mean I understand and after that click on I agree and agree and continue. Now here please pay attention to the video otherwise if you miss a single step you won't be able to get the score. So now let's get started. Now come back to the lab instruction and from here open the APG UI. So right click on it, open in incognito window. Now it will take some time, so wait for it. Now from here I will tell you what you need to do. From here you have to select the project ID. So from the drop down select this one and the page will refresh itself. Now from here what you need to do, you have to click on the admin option. So currently we have to click on the admin option. And just click on the overview. We have to create a staging environment. We will be creating one environment. I hope you understand. So click on new environment. From here copy the name. Staging like this. Copy carefully. Make sure there is no any extra space or dot. Now paste it over here. Now just do one thing. Click on create. After that once the staging environment is created. We have to create a group. So what we need to do. Once the staging environment is created. It's assigning. Wait for a few seconds and then click on new group. Now group will be staging group. So copy it like this and click on add. So finally we have created the environment and added a group. Now use this pencil icon. And from here you can see this is our group. You have to just add the staging environment in it. So once you have linked that staging environment in the staging group. You will get the score for task number 1. If you are unable to get the score please wait for a few more seconds and retry again. Now the next step is that we have to go to the task number 2 where we will setting up this. So open this in incognito window again. Just follow the way I am doing in the video you will get full score without any issue. Now copy the project id from the lab palette. Now click on continue. Now it will take some time so wait for it. So now you have to click on this edit button. Now from here we have to set the enable internet access. Now for the subnet we have to select this API subnet. Now click on set access. Now if you are unable to get the API you need to just do one thing refresh the browser or even if you are not getting just restart the lab again because sometimes the lab takes time to update the task. Now wait for a few more minutes. So you have to wait until you get the continue button like this. So once you get after 4 to 5 minutes or even less, click on continue and let's move to the next step. Now from here what you need to do, come back here and try to check my progress and let's see whether we get score or not. So we got the score, now we have to again open this in incognito window. Now here please pay attention to it. Now in the description box of this video I have shared one github repository. We will be using some part of this and thanks my friend for developing it. Now here, what you need to do is, you have to just find it. So you can use Ctrl F to find the task. So let's move to the lab instruction and our GitHub repo to be precise. Now from here, you can see, we have to search this, organization net address. So just go here and type here. You can see this is the highlighted part, click over here. Now you can see here is create option, just click on create. Now the page will load and here you will see one box. We have to do the next steps in the box only. Now copy from here this one only. Sorry we have to copy the organizations project id. We have to copy that only. So let's copy it carefully. Now just in the string we have to update the project id. So how you have to update the project id you have to remove the brackets also. And make sure the, the forward slash is not missing. Now once you have done this. We have to add the body. So how will add the body? No need to worry about it. I will tell you how you can add the body. So just once you have done this, you have to click on this. Copy the evil instance and from here replace it first of all. And for request body, let's move to the, this part. Net IP. Copy it carefully. Now click on this button and in the inverted comma space the name. 
Now click on execute. You may be prompted to sign in. Just sign in using your lab credentials. Do not use your personal credentials. Always use lab credentials for performing the labs. Now once this part is completed, execute again if you are unable to see. Once you get 200 out of, sorry 200, you will get the score. Now what you need to do, we have to create it. So just go back again and from here you can see in the overview it's saying activate activate sorry we have to activate it now again for the string copy this paste over here and from here update the project id like we did remove the inverted commas sorry inverted brackets sorry curly brackets and update it like this now just execute it it's lagging a bit so no need to worry about it just stay connected and you'll see this status now we are done with this part of this lab also now it will take some time to update the score because it's provisioning contrary so now just wait you can move to the next step also no need to worry about it now you have to just create the cloud armor so this is the documentation if you want to read you can read it now let's move to our dashboard console. Now let's move to our dashboard console and here on the search box type cloud armor and you will see the first one highlighted one so let me show you which one we have to select so you have to select this one the cloud armor policies and if you try to hit check my progress for previous stuff you will get the score without any so now here what you need to do is once the cloud armor is open click on create policies and now for the name come back to the lab instruction copy the name from here like this paste over here now what you need to do is just allow the default rule action once you have allowed you have to go to the next step and then click on add a rule so just click on add a rule and for the rule you have to go back to the github repo again like this and from here what you need to do copy this just paste over here like this click on advanced mode and then paste over here you have to just paste it all things have been done now you have to just scroll down and then click on create make sure to cross verify all the details like i have done now after that you have to just click on create policy it will take some time so wait for it so just create the policy Now sorry for any error if I made in the video, basically the instructions just follow the way I am doing in the video, you will be able to get the score. Now from here click on these three dots and click on apply. Now here what you need to do, you have to select the target backend service and then click on create. So once this is done, it will be showing on the notification section. So just wait till it gets completed, you can see it has been finally completed. Now what we have to do, we have to move forward to the next step. That is, first of all, we have to activate our cloud shell. And in case you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it and like the video. Now just click on continue. And after that, another pop-up will come that you have to just authorize yourself. So this is the way we have to activate the cloud shell in case you don't know. And if you want to complete other skill badges of this part of Arcade or Arcade Facilitator program or just to enhance your skill, you can check out the description. Now I am increasing the font because most of the guys are using mobile for doing the labs. Now if you try to hit check my progress, you will get the score. Now what we have to do here, we have to just execute some of the task. That is, we have to do this task. So for that, first of all, echo the project this one gives the project id now you have to copy it i have made it simpler you have to just select all the commands so how you will select it you need to do one thing you can open your personal notepad and select all like this make sure it's from start to end now you got this output for making it simpler i have used wrap method so you will be able to see full commands so just you can paste over here now from export to here just paste over here now it will take some time so wait for it so now this command may take four to five minutes and sometimes even more so just wait for it 
and once it's done we'll be hitting check my progress for all the tasks and we'll be done with this particular lab so just wait and you can see we got the all the output after waiting for four to five minutes and we are done with the lab guys do check the score and we are done